بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ کریم سو دس از یور ٹوینٹی ایٹ چیپٹر ان یور ٹیکسٹ بک اوکے سو ان دس لیسن ان شاء اللہ وی گو لرن اباؤٹ فیو امپارٹنٹ تھنگس مینلی دیر آر فیو تھیریز وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اینڈ امانگ دیم اٹس اباؤٹ دا بگ بینگ اوکے سو دیر از a method uh, which proves that big bang is accurate that it's correct that's known as the doppler effect okay so the doppler effect it proves that the big bang theory is correct okay so that's going to be our topic for today that is the doppler effect and maybe i i'll tell you about uh, a little bit about the big bang theory as well okay so what is big bang theory big bang theory it means that the whole universe it came out of you know a big explosion okay some some billions of years before there was nothing okay but there was only a small minute particle which was uh, smaller than an electron okay but it had it had immense energy inside it that it suddenly it exploded giving out enormous amounts of uh, gas and other particles okay so after a while after millions of years okay so these gas particles they condensed they fused together and you know how uh, you know the stars the galaxies and even the planets came into existence so this is nothing but the big bang okay so so the big bang means that the universe came out of an explosion a random process okay so this is a learning objective slide i just took it from your uh, textbook now let's move ahead okay so <coughs> scientists they believe that the stars and the galaxies which we see in the night sky these are not static objects that is they they are not staying in at one place but they are moving they are moving with the speed and uh, in a particular direction okay so this can be proved with the help of doppler effect okay so doppler effect is nothing but the studying the spectrum of light emitted by a star or galaxy okay so there is a method where the spectrum of light it is obtained from the star from the desired star or the galaxy and then it is studied okay based on certain rules okay then the speed the direction of the star the moving star or the galaxy is then decided okay so this is known as a doppler effect okay it was first described by an austrian scientist named christian doppler and he did this in 1842 in the in the 19th century okay so what is doppler effect to understand this you need to you know think about an example an example of a fast moving car okay so you just have to close your eyes and just uh you can imagine now you can't go out and uh, you know you can't do this experiment right now we just imagine okay that you are closing your eyes and you're listening to an engine of a fast moving car okay so what do you get in the mind okay observe or recall about the sound and the frequency of the engine of a fast moving car see for example if the car is approaching you and of course you would say that the loudness will increase okay at the same time the frequency will also increase okay the frequency of the sound will also increase uh, that is when it approaches you For example, when it approaches you, it is, it comes 
this way okay the sound so when the sound is squeaky okay when it becomes thin and that means that the frequency is high okay and when the frequency is thin frequency is just like this key okay that means the car is approaching you okay uh, with the loud uh, sound as well but if the motor appears to you know uh, that is the car if it moves away from you okay the frequency now what happens is it decreases okay that is when the car move towards you okay the frequency increases when the car move away from, moves away from you the frequency decreases okay so there is the there is a shift in the range of the frequency okay so this apparent change or shift in the frequency is called the doppler effect okay so the faster the car is moving the greater this change in frequency is okay so the car is moving moving faster then the sound is and if the car is moving slower then the sound is this way okay so this is what it means the faster the car is moving the greater this change in frequency is okay so <coughs> altogether we come to a conclusion that there is a change in frequency uh, or the loudness of the sound of the engine change in frequency loud in the loudness uh, you know changes the loudness of the car of the engine when the car keeps you know uh, moving that is uh, towards you or goes away from you there is some change in the frequency and the loudness of the car's engine okay so this change this shift is known as doppler effect and this doppler effect doesn't just happen in sound waves it also happens in light waves as well okay it happens in the light waves so the researchers or the astronomers look at the light spectrum or the light spectra light spectra is the plural of light spectrum from distant galaxies stars okay to find out the doppler effect okay just like how the frequency shifts okay relatively okay the same way the light the, the light spectra also shifts between colors between different colors that we'll check out inshallah in the coming slides and that's the doppler effect okay so this shows you uh, this slide shows you a picture okay so this slide shows you of uh, four different spectrums of light belonging to different kind of stars okay these are the four different uh, light spectrum okay light spectra of different stars this one belongs to the sun and this one belongs to a nearby galaxy this one belongs to a distant galaxy and this one that is the the last one belongs to a farthest galaxy that is a galaxy which is very far away from our earth okay so yes of course there is a difference in all these spectrums what is the difference you see there are these black colored lines okay they are placed you know in a different way in a different position on each spectrum correct okay so this is based on this we are going to decide about you know the direction and the speed of the star the movement of the star okay so <clears throat> how do we do that okay that's very simple look at the first one look at the first spectrum which belongs to our star the sun okay uh, here we clearly see the positions of the dark lines these are the dark lines okay these are the dark lines here over here okay they are placed in a particular position okay we found we find them in in a particular you know area correct okay so it starts here the sun starts here okay and ends up here 
right so when we move on to the next one that is we move on to the next spectrum okay now here in the second you know spectrum the dark lines have moved away that is they have moved further okay relatively they are you know moving towards the red color okay related to the sun spectrum these dark lines they are moving towards the red spectrum okay do you see that yes okay so they are moving towards the red spectrum the last spectrum shows the greatest shift for the further furthest galaxy we call this displacement redshift that is this is the nearby galaxy spectrum you see the the dark lines they are moving away that is they are moving towards shifting towards the red area the distant galaxy what do you, what do we see here in this distant galaxy is these dark lines are moving further away <coughs> okay further towards the red area right and for this galaxy spectrum what do we see here and this particular spectrum is it has moved away long way farther and it reach it has reached the you know the end of this red color area region correct so now here uh you know studying all these spectrums of four different spectrums of four different kinds of you know heavenly bodies the sun the nearby galaxy distant galaxy furthest galaxy okay we conclude that you know the furthest galaxy you know this furthest galaxy is moving away from us okay it is moving away from us why because the more the dark lines okay shift towards the red okay the further they are moving away from us this is what it means the sun is not moving away from us okay whereas the furthest galaxy is moving away from us okay so this is what we mean so like the changes in the frequency of a car okay the redshift indicates a relative motion between the galaxies from the observer okay so what is a redshift indicates the redshift indicates that the source the source of the light waves is moving away from the observer whereas the blue shift would indicate that the source of light is moving towards the observer okay so we will you will understand this in the next from the next slide okay just look at the picture here this is our sun okay so this sun it it falls the dark lines okay they fall more on you know the orange area that means the star is not moving okay rather it is stationary whereas some similar star okay when it gives you this red shift shows the red shift on the light spectrum on that means that the star is moving away from us whereas if another star gives a blue color shift uh, we, we when we see this blue shift in the light spectrum and that will mean that this star is moving towards us okay so orange means the star is remaining stationary position red means the star is moving away from us blue color means it moves towards us okay so after doing lots of study the researchers they came to a conclusion that almost all the galaxies they emit light with redshift and that means that the galaxies okay they are moving away from us okay so now based on this the researchers the scientists the astro physicists they concluded that this is a proof of the big bang because just after the you know the big bang the bang the explosion okay just after that all you know the particles they started to you know move away from each other 
although they became you know stars and galaxies but they moved away from each other okay so they believe that the universe okay is expanding okay and at one point of time in the past the universe was in one place was in one place just that is before just before the explosion okay and this theory they call it as the big bang theory okay so this is what is big bang theory and okay and they also explain this with the help of this dove model dove you know dove which is used to make uh, cakes and uh, you know uh, other eating uh, you know items <coughs> so uh, this dove how can it really help us to understand this expanding universe concept okay so what happens to the dove the currents inside it okay the, the currents inside it is when they are placed in an oven to cook over a period of time the dove expands right and the currents they all move away from each other they all move away from each other because the dove is expanding okay in this model the dove the dove represents the universe and the currents which are there inside they represent the galaxies or the stars okay so this is how a dove mo model can help us to understand this ever expanding universe concept and also uh, the big bang theory that everything came out from an explosion and slowly all the all the galaxies which form after the explosion they start to you know move away from each other and even now it is believed that all the galaxies all the heavenly bodies they are moving away sh away from each other and the universe is expanding okay <clears throat> and this is not in your textbook this theory it says that at one point of time there will be a crunch there will be a big crunch that means uh, again it will revert back that is again uh, all the galaxies will come back okay and they will fuse to get one together and uh, it will just uh, reverse the whole process this is what they believe okay so all these things are just theories you ma ma must have to uh, you know understand and know all these things okay so uh, this is the doppler equation mostly you will get problems based on this uh, theory as well uh, you'll be asked to find the speed of the star mostly this is the formula okay this is the formula actually you have to uh, note it down change in wavelength over reference wavelength gives velocity of a galaxy divided by speed of light okay so next slide will show you how to you know solve the problem this is example one okay it says light emitted by the sun has a wavelength of 434 nanometers okay this is nanometers remember a distant galaxy emits the same light but because of the doppler effect it has a wavelength of 482 nanometers Calculate the speed at which the galaxy is moving relative to the Earth. Okay, the speed of light is three multiplied by ten to the power of eight meter per second. The speed of light, light, this value is always a standard value; doesn't change. Okay, so this is the formula. So this is delta, this is lambda divided by lambda naught. Okay, so what is lambda naught here? Reference wavelength. And what is delta lambda? Okay, that is the change in wavelength. Change in wavelength is the difference between uh, this one, that is the wavelength of the sun, and the wavelength of a distant galaxy. So you just have to subtract, okay, this with this 482 minus 434, okay, into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters divided by 434 into 10 to the power of minus 9 meters 
what is this 10 to the power of mi minus 9 there is nothing but nano scale okay 10 to the power of minus 9 it's very minute